Hello, welcome to Basic Electrical Lab. Today we will conduct the experiment on the measurement of resistance and inductance of a choke coil using 3 voltmeter method. This is the circuit diagram and in the circuit diagram we have auto transformer, then the rheostat, then the choke coil. These uh, choke coil and rheostat are connected in series with the ammeter and this is connected in series with the auto transformer. The three voltmeters are connected across the supply that is auto transformer and across rheostat and across the choke. So here these are the connecting wires and this is the kit which is used for this uh, experiment but from the kit we are going to take only the supply. Then we have the rheostat. Here in the rheostat we have these two terminals as well as here one more terminal. These three terminals are provided in the rheostat. If we want to use the rheostat with the constant resistance then we have to connect between these, this point and this point. If we connect between these two points and then this is considered as variable resistance then we can adjust the resistance by moving this knob. Now we have three voltmeters, two voltmeters like this and one we are using multimeter which can be used as a meter as well as voltmeter but in this experiment we are using this one as voltmeter. And this is the ammeter which is going to be in series with the rheostat and the choke. Now we will connect. Now we will connect from auto transformer from auto transformer to rheostat. So this is connected to rheostat, rheostat here. Then from the rheostat we have we have this connection. This is connected to the ammeter. Ammeter and from the ammeter, other end of the ammeter goes to choke, then from choke to another end of the auto transformer. Now we have to connect voltmeters across the auto transformer, rheostat and the choke. Here while connecting we have to select the range. So voltmeter ranges we have on the meter 600 and 300 but here for this experiment we are opting 300 range. So we are connecting 300 terminal to the 300 terminal to the auto transformer of this end of the auto transformer and another end to the common terminal we have here this will go to the red uh, red color terminal that is for the convenience we think this one as the positive and we consider this one as the positive and positive goes to common terminal similarly for this old meter common terminal this goes to this end of the rheostat and the 300 range terminal goes to this end of the rheostat. Now coming to the voltmeter which is which has to be connected across choke is we are using multimeter here you can use this multimeter as voltmeter as well as a meter also so but now in this experiment we will use this one as voltmeter so switch on the So the voltmeter is switched by pressing this button that is power on and off button and this is adjusted to the AC here the sinusoidal waveform is shown so this uh, part is AC voltage so you can keep this knob on any of this but here we are taking this voltmeter as 300 range so we can keep this one on 750 range okay now the two terminals like this 
here will connect and here another okay now with this now overall connection is over so the connection is looking like this okay now we'll switch on the supply so switch on here and before switching it on make sure that auto transformer is at zero position so now it is at zero position so it is at zero position and now switch it on so gradually increase the knob by rotating it voltage so that here in the ammeter you should get 0 0.36 ampere so now it is increasing so we got 0 0.3 so 0 0.36 0 0.36 we have now at this position note down the reading of voltmeters now the voltmeter which is across the auto transformer gives us the reading vs that is voltage supply voltage so it is 208 208 because 10 divisions are giving you 20 so four three divisions means it is 6 so 206 so note down vs as 206 next this is the voltmeter which is across rheostat so this will give the reading vr that is voltage across the resistance so here it is almost it is equal to uh, we have connected to 300 range so below scale you have to 300 range so below scale you have to read now it is uh, almost equal to 60 so this is 30 50 58 it is so note down vs as 58 now v choke v choke is nothing but it is the voltage across voltage across choke so now this voltage we are getting getting as 183.9 183.9 and current is 0.36 so we have noted down all the readings similarly you have to conduct for different uh, readings of uh, the current now similarly for current 0.36 we got the readings two readings as 197.33 as vs 160 175 as vc and 60 volts this is 60 not 160 this is 60 volts across rheostat and current is 0.36 like this we have got another set of readings where vs is 194 and vr is 55 vc is 175 current is 0.36 after getting all these readings using these formulae we can calculate the inductance as well as the resistance of choke coil the another method is also existing that is by using phasor diagram method here we can here we can use this phasor diagram and in this phasor diagram we have the two right angle triangle one is vr vs and this is small vr and another one is o vs and vr so writing the pythagoras theorems for both the right angle triangle and solving those equations we can calculate l that is inductance and r that is resistance for the given choke